Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you the top five beasts from the SR for the PvP that you can be leveling up in the early stage of the game and you will not be feeling regret that you have invested into them. So let's just dive into it. The first one we're talking about today is going to be Subject 9. Subject 9 is one of the great beasts to be using in the PvP if you're using him and he can also be a pain for you if the other team is using him as well and the reason here when it comes to PvP we're talking about the exploration skills this is the one that will be taking effect into the exploration as well as the PvP so the reason why he's the top one in today's video because he's helping out with healing two random allies for 81% of his own attack and that's only because he's on the red but uh, when you're just activating this beast he will be healing with 45% and with upgrading the beast as well as the skill it will be increasing over time and not only that but also his passive he got the passive to increase the healing from him as well as any other beast that is healing over the complete battle with percentage starting with 5% when you have in the piece to level 51 and when you upgrade the skill as well as the piece quality you will be as well receiving more healing so you will be combining this healing from him as well as his passive to be getting the final healing as well as he also his basic attack heals for 67% of his damage so he's just completely healing beast for the next one going to be the tank pyrodra and really this is one of the great tanks that you can be using in the early stage and even for me I'm using him till the moment and really I just love that beast the reason because he's focusing completely on the defense his skill grant shield equal to 10,000 HP to all allies for 5 seconds and when you're starting this beast or activating him it just 500 HP but it increased with time as well as upgrading the skill and also his next passive is raising the defense by some percentage starting with 20% of the defense when he is level 26 and it ends up by 60% and the last passive going to be while this unit is alive all the allies going to gain defense by 15 percent and that's only because i'm having the skill max when you just having him it will be five percent so really it just feels this one is amazing tank the next one on the list the top three going to be scorcher scorcher he's a ranged unit or a ranged beast and really he just feels good his rage skill he attacks six times and each time he deals damage equal to 337 percent of attack to a random enemies it can be just one can be all of them it all depends on the luck and if enemy is stunned the damage dealt gonna be increased by 10 percent and he will be really good combining him along with the ghost sentinel ghost central he's an ssr beast his first skill here he got a chance to stun the enemy but he's not on the list to be talking with today i just thought to give you an head up about uh, combining this beast along with scorcher to try to get the best out of this one here and also he increased the attack by percentage starting with 10 percent when he's level 26 and it ends with 30% when he's red 2 star and the last passive going to be up on dealing damage he ignores 25% of the target's defense and it's starting with 10% so he just feels good so he's ignoring the defense as well as dealing damage to all units the next one on the list the top 4 going to be Donal Lord and that one here is helping out with dealing damage equal to 60% of the attack to three random enemies and it starts with 50% I could upgrade it to uh, even more and when he's red two stars it will be a hundred percent 
of the attack to three enemies as well as it will be reducing their defense by 2000 for four seconds so he's dealing damage to three targets as well as lowering their defense and also the passive he increased the attack by 15 percent and it starts with 10 on the level 26 and it ends with 30 percent on the red two stars and also the next passive going to be while he's alive all the allies going to gain 3.5% and that's because it's orange and when you just have this piece to level 51 it's 2% and it ends on 8% so he's just helping out for the part with increasing the damage dealt by all the units and at the same time reducing the defense also and for the last one on the list for today going to be Zigwiklaw and the reason why he's on top 5 not on a high rank it's because he just let's say I don't feel he's really that extremely good compared to the others that's his rank for me but if any of you have any other opinion guys make sure to be dropping comments I'll be more than happy to read your opinion and let's just share all the strategies and information together you know we're helping each other the first skill going to be dealing damage equal to almost 300% of the attack to the enemies and it reduces their defense by 15% for 4 seconds and it starts with level 1 and it's uh, gonna be 272% and it ends on 380% when it's red 2 star and the skill is max level the first passive gonna be increasing the crit uh, chance by 13% and it starts with 8% and it ends with 25% on the max level and the last one going to be for every 1% missing HP, he gains 0.3% of the attack over time. And at the same time, it increases over the upgrading of the skill as well as his quality. So he's not really that best, he's decent compared to the rest. So that's all for this video, guys. And the top 5 SR beast into the BVB. Make sure to be telling me what you're thinking if I have mistakenly putting someone in the wrong place or wrong rank or if I missed any of the others. I'll be more than happy to hear your opinions. Really, I mean it. So that's all and I see you all with another video. Till then, take care and don't forget to be liking the video and subscribe to the channel. Till then, take care.